This is the YouTube channel, All Things Cinema. Welcome back to our channel, All Things Cinema. So I actually have uh, another video I want to show you guys. It's uh, another behind the scenes video of, um, of an interview. And this one in particular is for a doctor at her dentist's office um, here at Elkridge, Maryland. Um, it's funny because I actually, um, I actually booked this place through my insurance company to get my teeth clean. And with, um, you know, conversation and talking with the doctor who was cleaning my teeth, she actually wants to get into videography and more so wedding videography. Not only that, but then she ended up booking me to um, film an interview of her doing like a public service announcement about um, keeping your teeth clean. So as much as I was able to put together while trying to do the interview itself. So um, enjoy this video, leave some feedback. And again, don't forget to subscribe so y'all can continue to be updated with the content we share. All right, peace, enjoy, and see y'all soon. All right, so here we are at the dentist's office and it was actually snowing this day. It was a snow day, but she was available so i still came out and uh, this is where i have all my gear staged in the lobby area just taking a look around um to be honest i'm excited first time filming in the dentist's office so awesome opportunity do you do some behind the scenes of like when you do your videos and stuff no but that's i don't mind so we got the doctor and her patient changing up the room, bringing in more props to make it the shot look more professional. They're doing an awesome job. I'm gonna have to hire y'all as my staging people for like my, my film shoots and stuff. No, I don't like that. Dark in there. Do you want us to bring us here? No, we we just gonna we gonna wait till I set up my lights and it's gonna look totally different. Lighting is so important. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Next, I mean, you can get lighting is almost more important than the camera because I yeah. can use the, like the best iPhone right. and and it's no right. lights. You see how I look, but once I you know set lights at, like I'm about to shoot with like a ten thousand dollar camera, it makes world difference. So yeah, lighting is definitely big. Or do you want it on the So I'm talking to the doctor as um, the filmmaking production process goes on. Like I said, she's very much interested in learning videography because um, she wants to get into weddings. And so I got hired by her to come and film this interview for her, PSA, as well as me kind of show her some of the ropes as I, you know, set up camera, set up lighting and stuff like that. So I'm talking to her. Um, throughout the process as I'm setting up. So um, as you've seen earlier, they were, uh, Dr. Patty and her daughter were in this room here, moving things around, pretty much like staging um, and like cleaning up the, uh, the room for the actual filming. You know, bigger companies, they got individual departments. This will be like the arts department, but when you are solo, um, video production filmmaker, you pretty much doing everything. But in this case, I let them do it. So, so here I'm showing her the shot, um, the framing, um, making making sure that she she is okay with the framing of it. Um, I, bl I believe other uh, video productions call this the signing off, even though I have not set up the lights just yet. So let me see if this one works. 
Because you know what interviews, they, they, they you kind of want to try to get the softest light as possible. You don't have to like your jaw hard and harsh. And uh, they say, you know, general rule of thumb, smaller the light, harder the light, bigger the light source, softer the light. So that's why I got this, this, this thing is super huge. Before I set this up, I want to make sure that it's not going to be in a shot if I put it in this corner here. So let me see. Okay. Could you look at the screen and let me know if it'll be in the shot? If I was to have it, like right, right, like right here. No, no, not in the shot. Exactly. Perfect. Oh, no. Now I took my main and my most powerful own light, which is the Aperture 120, with that big old 36 deep octa box, and I put it in that very small room. That room is small, but I wanted, I did what I didn't want to compromise on my most biggest powerful light source for the night, the best uh, and soft lighting for her key light. So I put it in there, um, just a soft box, and I had her look through the camera make sure that you know the the framing of the shot is not compromised by this big old soft box it didn't everything was good so now i can bring my light in that small room set it up put the big old deep octa box on there and we are in business now, normally I would do everything myself, but I, here you see I have her helping to move my light, I mean, my light inside of the room, and then I had the doctor move my camera and stuff. Now, usually I attach everything and not the customer, but since they want to learn a little bit of videography, I got them a little bit hands-on experience right now. Oh, wait, no, it's not, it's out. It's not, it's not in the show. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's looking good now. Um, Is this good? And you can see that, those things. So if you're talking right here, your arm is blocking it. But I do like your arm resting though. So I see the picture, I just don't see the teeth. So if you really wanted the teeth to be in a shot, we can put that where that glass is. All right, so um, yeah. now that we have my main key light up, uh, up in the room, and you see how big it is, but it's not in the shot so um, we're going to get that nice beautiful soft uh, lighting on her front end and so um and now i had to readjust my exposure according to my main key light and then i'm going to add a second light later so this is the filmmaking process like this is not just no grab a camera and a lens and just oh whatever house lights you got on now nah, this is video production. This is cinematic lighting. This is professional interviews with customers that's paying you, um, you know, money uh, to provide them professional um, video cinematic quality. So you're going to, it's a process. You know, you set up your camera, you, you bring in your lights, you adjust your exposure, you add additional lights, you block any lights that you don't want. And so, yeah, so this is pretty much the process and I'm just showing y'all behind the scenes. So y'all seen the photo just now, um, that second light, the blue light, that's my Drawcast um, 500 series LED panel. I put that in the room as my secondary light. Just a little bit, because when I push it back, it exposes them more, so, but the light looks really good. I have that just behind her to her left um so it's like 90 degrees um behind her so do do and that's kind of like a uh, hair like i have it up over her and um, point it down with, uh, add a little bit uh light, light on her so hair just to kind of um bring her left side a little bit um, out of the shadows and so look she um she i asked her to bring a few of her lab coats because my light stand was actually popping up in the shot and the room was so small I could not hide it. And, but I did not want to lose that hair light. So I asked her to get a couple of her lab coats and we hanged it on my light stand and you can't even tell it looks like it's a coat rack. 
So, you know, it's just some innovative ideas like that that you'll have to kind of be, you know, uh, uh, think fast on set. All right, so now that all of the lighting is done, here I only use two lights for this interview, key light and a hair light. Um, so after the lighting is done, and now you can, now I focus on the audio. I always do my audio last, because lighting takes the longest. I don't want to rush the lighting. I want to make sure I just pay attention, um, you know, uh, attention to detail when lighting. And audio is kind of straightforward. So with my audio, I have the Zoom H5, which is an external audio recorder, and I'm using my Ceramonic wireless lav mic. Um, one transmitter is on her, and I have the receiver on the camera side feeding directly into my Zoom H5 external recorder. Website or whatever, the social media, mm -hmm. TikTok, um, let's see, what else? Uh, Facebook, I don't know if you can have this on Facebook, but anyway. All right, so this is after the main key light setup only. No other lights. All right, this is the main key light plus the secondary hair light slash kicker light. And this is the final lighting setup for the interview. Hi. I'm <laughs> is this a test shot? Yeah, this is just a test. Hi, I'm Dr. Patty, and I'm from Elk Ridge Family Dentistry, and I'd like to talk with you today about our amazing microscope. We use it every day in our hygiene department, and the reason we use it is because everyone has plaque, everyone has bacteria that live in the plaque, and we want to find out what kind of bacteria you have in your mouth. And like now, pretend like this is the footage, the looking slide. at the slide. T tell them what are we looking at. You're talking about okay. like what's mobile bacteria, more active, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing this. Go. Taking these samples for a really long time and explaining to patients, I should be able to just go from that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, See you then. See you soon. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was it right there. So we just wrapped up filming the interview for Dr. Badcock here at Elk Ridge Family Dentistry. Just want to show you the lighting setup. We had the 120D um, here on the C stand in this corner with the big angler 36 inch deep parabolic. Um, with both diffusions on here. Then we use this light, second light here as a hair light. We have it uh, warmer. Uh, and then we put these lab coats on here so you wouldn't be able to tell that it is a light stand um, right behind your chair. And um, actually the doctor herself and her daughter actually did a really good job with propping up everything around this main shot right here, like all of this didn't look like this. So like if she's right there, I was gonna have you, so I can kind of get you in the same shot. You can kind of be like right here, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. The arms crossing all of that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just Ryan's way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me see. So, so be, how's this shot going? So is it I'm monitor? Be, you waiting for I'm the monitor? I'm gonna be loading up the microscope. Okay. Okay, so this is me filming some B-roll to add to her um, PSA speech. Um, and you see I have the Blackmagic 6K Pro on a rig instead of a gimbal. I want to go for just a more organic, um, slight camera handheld feel. Um, so everything doesn't have to be on a gimbal. And um, you saw earlier I had... For the speech, I just had the 6K Pro stationary on the tripod. So, yeah. Um, All right, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and queue up some Black Magic 6K Pro B-roll footage for y'all. Shot ProRes.